Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing kind of a gear organization, like gears where I store my gear kind of video. Um, because if y'all are anything like me, you have a lot of service dog gear and it's kind of hard to find a spot to keep it all without making your room look like a mess. So I'm going to start over here. Okay. So over here is where I keep her most used gear. So I've got her leather harness. I've got her um, fleece harness and her river dog gear vest is what I keep over here. It's her most used gear. Here I also keep her boots because you need to protect your dog's feet when they go on the hot concrete and right now it's really hot because it's summer, so protect your dog's feet. Um, I also keep her treat pouch here. It's got a water bowl because you want to make sure that you always have the opportunity to give your dog water. Um, I have my rough wear slack line leash right here. And this is like my everyday gear. So her prong collar. I can pick a vest or a harness. I can pick a leash. Um, I've got all of her leather leashes here. I have a crossbody leather leash. I have just a handheld leather leash and a traffic lead. Um, up here is where I keep her treats. These are the raw meat freeze dried sojo treats right there. I got the pack of three on Amazon because. Dallas is picky with treats, so I wanted her to have a variety and to get the pack of three is actually cheaper Than if you were to buy individual packs on chewy, so I've got her treats up here. There's some popcorn right there. I use the popcorn for task training um, I've got a little tennis ball up there and some more treats now in this bag here. I keep some poop bags I keep my doctor's notes um, her vet records, not that you need them, but it's always good to have them on you just in case anything were to come up that you needed them. But I always put those in a bag, like a backpack, when I leave. So, backpacks. I have, well, here's her kennel. She sleeps in her kennel every night. She likes it in there. Um, she gets too hot in my bed, so... She sleeps in her kennel, even if I don't put her in there, I'll wake up and she'll just be chilling in there, so. Um, over here in this corner, right here, you can't really see it very well, but I keep my tripod over here. Um, but I have different backpacks that I use. So, this one right here is my use most used backpack. Um, so, I always keep a bag of food in here and a bowl just in case um, I weren't able to get her fed in time. I always put a toy in there or maybe a chew bone or something and I put her bag with all of the medical records and everything in there. I've got hand sanitizer and poop bags in here. So that's my most used bag. I like it because it's got a spot for water. Then I have this bag here just blue and then I have a tan one that's just like it back there so that's what I use for her backpacks it's always good to have a backpack um, with you just with anything you might need in there all right <sighs> I'm out of breath. okay over here I have this wonderful thing that my grandma got me um, Dallas uses up these two drawers right here. So, in this top drawer, I have just a bunch of stuff. Um, it doesn't really have... I don't have certain things in here. I've got her little Christmas antlers. Um, extra food and water bowls. I've got extra treats. And under that is all of her grooming supplies. Which... I made a grooming supplies video, so if you want to watch that to see what I use for my golden doodle, feel free. Um, I have this with an ADA card in there, her glow collar, her business cards, 
Um, just extra patches, leash wraps, you know, stuff. I've got a bunch of her bows and bandanas in there too. And in this bottom drawer, oh, it's, it's so full. Okay. Um, I have her cooling coat, her raincoat, her winter coat. I have extra treat pouches, leash, whatever those are called, pull straps, leash wraps. Um, I have all of her harnesses and vests that I'm not currently using in there so that they're out of the way. Um, I'm not going to take it all out because it's pretty stuffed in there and I don't want to have to put it all back. But that is what is in that drawer. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I have. Um, I think it's important that you have a spot like this one over here to keep all of your everyday gear so you don't have to pull it out of a drawer all the time but it's also good to have a spot to put away gear that you're not currently using because it just helps make your room or wherever you are keeping your stuff more open and clutter free um, so that is all I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you come up with maybe some ideas for your gear storage stuff. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Bye.